Hey guys, KYT here with another video. Hope you are all doing well. For this one, I'm gonna show you how to add a stock or an ETF inside of Quest Trade. The Wealth Simple version of my video is one of my most popular videos, and I think this type of video is for two purposes. One, for people who are not invested yet to see the actual mechanics of it, to not be intimidated, to see how simple the steps really are. And number two, for those of you who are not inside of Quest Trade, who have dabbled with other brokerages and want to see a sneak peek of what it looks on the inside without having to sign up yourself. So this is what I see when I log into my Quest Trade account, a breakdown of my different accounts. And for those of you who've been watching this channel, you'll notice that the TFSA and FHSA are now zero. And that's because I've withdrawn everything in order to pay for my down payment later this month. But we have some funds, we have some cash in our RESP, so we're gonna show you how I'm gonna buy stocks for my daughter. Um, that involves, they've cleaned up, I, I feel like they've cleaned up the interface overall, so all you have to do is click on this trading button up here. And now I'm in the trading part, I've clicked selected RESP, and there's this fat start investing button, and then it prompts you to put a symbol of a stock or ETF. And of course, we're gonna put XQT, just type it out anyways, just to see how it looks. Pop that in, and then here, trade XQT, which self-directed account do you wanna use for this order? Of course, I'm saying RESP. I buy, and it gives you options of a limited order and a market order. The different type of orders I will address in another video, but usually on something that's popular and, and has high volume, you wanna go, market order it's perfectly fine here's share quantity or dollar amount since at this channel we talk about investing as soon as possible uh we're gonna go with dollar amount and try to max out what we can buy what's cool here it's like it actually asks you what's the maximum amount you want to invest and then it'll try to buy the most whole shares as possible so here for my RASP, we saw we have 261 dollars and 42 cents we're just going to punch it in here and it estimates based on the current price that it's at. And I think you can refresh by clicking this snap quote. It estimates being able to buy eight shares, which will cost this much. And you're not going to have this left, which sadly is not enough for one more share. Can't go to nine. And then you just go next. And place order and you're good to go when we're good to go. And that is done. And then you can scroll down to see that the trade has been executed right here, March 15th, bought eight shares at market price. And that's what I usually do, market order. I think that Quest Trade is a strong consideration for anyone that plans to open an RESP account, except maybe except people that live in BC. If you look up list of RESP promoters on the Government of Canada website, you can see different brokerages and which one offers which grant and quest trade is not there for the british columbia one so so for bc people i would strongly consider looking at another option but for the rest of us it's an excellent option and it's a great complement to wealth simple because if you look at wealth simple in their help center can i open a self-directed trading resp with wealth simple no resps are only offered as managed invest accounts where your funds are invested for you and we think as long as you're able to go through that process, like I showed you in Quest Trade, buying XQT or another all-in-one ETF, you're able to invest similarly to a managed or robo advisor portfolio, but at a lower cost. So definitely do that if you can. And that's it for this video. If you guys want to see something else or another brokerage account, let me know. Actually, I forgot one thing. If you want to support the channel and you're curious about Quest Trade, you can use my link below and we both get $50, which is pretty sweet. See you in the next one.